Hello old chaps. Today we're going to be going over some of Winston Churchill's most inspiring quotes. Churchill was the best statesman and orator ever, so this was not an easy list to make. He has hundreds of incredible quotes and all of them are worthy of it. I have taken the liberty of selecting five, which I believe are his greatest. Number five. After the disaster at Dunkirk, Churchill gave a rousing speech before the House of Commons, announcing that Britain would continue to resist until the very end. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the field and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Inspiring. Number four. In 1937, at the Palestine Royal Commission, Churchill said, I do not admit that the dog in the manger has the final right to the manger, though he may have lain there for a very long time. I do not admit that right. I do not admit, for instance, that a great wrong has been done to the Red Indians of America or the black people of Australia. I do not admit that a wrong has been done to those people by the fact that a stronger race, a higher grade race, or at any rate, a more worldly, wise race, to put it that way, has come in and taken their place. I do not admit it. Wow, amazing words. They leave me breathless. Number three. When discussing the Indian independence movement in 1942, Churchill said, I hate Indians. They are a beastly people with a beastly religion. Marvelous. Number two. When discussing what he called the barbaric China in 1902, Churchill said, The iron stock is bound to triumph. Even Adolf himself would have cried tears of astonishment. Number one. It was very difficult to choose just one to be the absolute best from among all of these incredible quotes. I'll have to go with what he said in February 1945, when discussing India with his assistant. The Hindus are a foul race, protected by mere overbreeding from the doom that is their due. I wish that the Royal Air Force could send some of their surplus bombers to destroy them all. One of the greatest oratory flourishes of all time right there. Incredible words, Prime Minister Churchill. The perfect statesman, the greatest Briton. I love you, Winston. I love you. Oh. There you have it, my fellow Churchillians. The greatest quotes ever by the greatest man to ever live. I'd hope that they inspired you, but I'm certain that they already did.